these longer term things that that can kind of just be a drain on both both resources but also morale you know when we talk about that you know i, I think in theory it sounds great yeah everyone should get together and talk but are, are, are you or have you seen recent strategies or practices where where IT and marketing are, are really purposeful in, 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 in collaborating and kind of what's working there? Yeah. I think that's, you know, it's, it's, it's one thing to say it, but then actually putting it into practice is the hard part because there's, there's trust and there's, 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 there's confidence in each other that needs to be established. Yeah, yeah. And then in many cases, there's a legacy of, of, you know, whether whether it's mistrust or distrust, or, you know, or something's not quite as, as, as bad, let's just say there's still a legacy of just this, this relationship, where again, using the the sales and marketing analogy, like there's this, this legacy of like expectation that that you kind of go in somewhere, even if you're brand new into an organization. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, some of some of the things that we talked about in the book and, and some of the roadmap exercises and workshops that, you know, really came from from a lot of your work and um, your team's work. I, you know, I, I find things like that to be incredibly helpful to get people on the same page, talking, talking, maybe in a sometimes in, in similar ways, but all together in the same room and sometimes in, in very different ways and and you know, there, there's something to be said for just being, whether it's virtually or, or physically in the same room and building some empathy there and just hearing what other people are dealing with in their, in their day to day. I, I think those, those types of exercises are, you know, are incredibly helpful and, and will continue to be helpful. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you know, certainly bringing people in the same room, are, are you seeing any more dialogue around meeting in person, you know, just to kind of shift gears for a second. Yeah. Um, I know, I know for us, we are building a lot more time into travel expenses and, 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 and planning for that because that's when we feel things really get done when people can actually sit at the same yeah. table and look across each other and, and, and have a real conversation. Was, have you seen any of that in any of the conferences, any more conversations around face to face? Yeah, I mean, you know, I first of all, just f regarding conferences, I mean, it's that's one of the things that is just amazing about the, you know, being able to get back out and, and meet people in person. And I think it reminds everyone uh, for those that have been slow to kind of go back to in person meetings, I think conferences are a reminder of just the power of what, you know, FaceTime and one on one -on conversations um, really can build to, but, you know, I also think it's, it's strategic use of in-person time because we all, we were also able to find some ways that there's some kinds of work that just get done more quickly and more easily when your head's down or, you know, virtually or, or whatever. So I definitely am seeing a lot more in-person meetings, um, being scheduled and, and things like the, the workshop type things and things where, I think those are really the moments that matter to be mm -hmm. together and to talk through things. And, you know, it's nobody wants to think that someone is like going off camera to like, you know, grab something to eat and, and misses a, a key part of the conversation. But, you know, it happened when we're on zoom back to back eight to 10 hours a day, like we're going to step away for a second here and there, I'm sure. And so, you know, you just, you, you miss things when when that happens even though it might be necessary so yeah i think the the in-person meetings for those meaningful connections and meaningful discussions um you know definitely happening more and i i think that's a good thing and then i think you know leaders that can understand when it doesn't make sense to just drag people into the office i think that also helps. i i think that balances the two and it makes employees feel valued and heard. And it also gets leaders what they need, which is, you know, those, those valuable face to face.